All right, YouTube. This is Slappy Dog with Slappy Adventures. It is January the 2nd on a Saturday about 1.41. This is officially my first ride of any of my motorcycles in 2021. And it feels so good. Yay! All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, right, 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 Well, it is my first ride of 2021. It feels good to be on the gold wing or the motorcycle. I guess it is good to be alive. But uh, I am headed down towards Vaughn North, Tennessee to take my last ride, if you will, or pay my respects to my new friend, Water Dog. Rest in peace, Water Dog. I got a few stories with my new buddy, Water Dog. And when I say new buddy, uh, I, I haven't known him long, but he watches my videos on YouTube and, you know, social media. What the old folks used to say, the world is small. But social media has definitely made it smaller. But uh, Water Dog lives about 30 miles away from me. And he stumbled upon my videos on YouTube. Well, some of the places that I was going and starting my videos and ending my videos, he drives a truck as well as ride a gold wing. Matter of fact, he, he owns two gold wings. So he was real familiar with certain landmarks uh, that I was, uh, you know, going by or, or he seen in the video. So he kind of narrowed some things down and, you know, was right there in my neighborhood. Went down there to the Dollar General store and was asking some people, hey, y'all know Slappy? Of course, everybody in town knows me. And uh, so he kind of narrowed some stuff down and found me. So I'm coming down Alcohol Highway and he going up Alcohol Highway. So you know how we do with fellow motorcycle riders. We see one, we give the little thumbs up, you know, however, however you want to do it. You know, give a little salute to the motorcycle guys as they go by. Well, he turns around, does a flip, turns around. And uh, it was starting to rain, so I was trying to get in the garage. And, uh, I see a, a, a gold wing pulls up at my garage. I'm like, well, dad, let me let him get out the rain. I was like, come on over here, man, get out of the rain. I figured somebody pulled in my driveway. I knew who he was, so he pulls in the, in the garage and got out the rain. He goes to taking off his jacket and his helmet. So I'm looking at him like, hell, I don't know him. <laughs> I think that's, that's so funny to me, but and he goes, uh, hey, Slappy, um, I'm Clifton, and I'm looking at him, and he's doing a spiel. He said, yeah, I'll be watching your videos and this, that, the third. And I'm like, uh-oh, w what is this all about? So he goes in there, and it didn't take me all of about two minutes to uh, realize that he was just a real good guy that likes uh, gold wings or likes motorcycles for that matter and just likes to ride. And just so happened there's somebody around the corner that shoots uh, YouTube videos uh, that he's familiar with the grounds and the and the roads that I've ride. So, man, we sat down there, I know, a couple of hours and uh, just kind of talked about a few things and, uh, you know, talked about his electric connection lights and how he likes Lewis and the guys down there at Electric Connection. 
and uh, uh, we had a whole lot of things in common. And I was like, hey, uh, uh, Clifton, this was before the water dog nickname came about. I said, buddy, I got to get my butt in the bed. He said, okay. And I mean, it started pouring down rain. I'm like, oh, Lord. I said, Did you, you got a rain suit? He said, no, nah, I forgot my rain suit, Slappy. And forgive me that I'm trying to uh, talk like Clifton because he's got a real unique country talk. I'm, I'm, I talk country too, but he's really, really a country guy. He said, no, oh, I, I left my rain suit at the house and I, I, I messed around and forgot to put it in my bike. I said, well, that gone, Clifton. Now, this is my first time ever knowing a guy. I said, man, I can't let you leave the house and get your doggone panties wet now. So I gave him one of my rain suits. And uh, like I said, I didn't know him, so uh, he could have took my rain suit and went on and never got it back. He said, well, I'll bring it back to you, Slappy, I promise you. I said, well, you know, I said, uh, well, when you do, just leave it on the porch or right here by the garage, you know. Uh, so uh, he got my rain suit on. He's a little bit smaller filler than I am, so it, it kind of swallowed him up. But he went on home, and uh, I guess a couple, two or three days, I came back, and right there in front of my garage was my rain suit all ball, you know, uh, folded up real nice and neat. And I said, well, doggone, he, he did what he said he was going to do. So that's one of my stories with old Clifton, and he was telling me about his um, got being diagnosed with leukemia, and he was getting ready to go up to Vanderbilt and start doing his treatment. I said, well, man, I got to get you on a ride and let's see if we can uh, shoot some video and stuff like that, you know, while you in the hospital and, you know, going through your treatment there, you can, you know, kind of watch yourself on the YouTube and, you know, little stuff like that, you know, it really don't mean a whole lot to, you know, to us, but somebody like him, he really appreciated that. So we met up one day. I had to work at Friday night, got off Saturday morning. I took a nap, but I seen he, I had missed a couple of phone calls from him. So I called him up. I said, buddy, are you ready to ride? He said, well, I didn't want to bother you too much because I know you had to work last night. I said, well, meet me down there at the store. We ride up towards the Dragon. Uh, old Doug Roberts was having something with those um, little 50cc motorcycles up at the Dragon Depot. So he met me down there, and I brought my other uh, helmet, my Cena helmet. It's a Scorpion with a Cena uh, 20 Evo. So I leaked it, you know, hooked up the helmets and all that and stuck it on. That's the first time he's ever used a, a helmet with a Cena in it. And, and uh, so we go off the drag, and I, I linked the, uh, the video that I did with Water Dog going up to the drag. And we had some real good conversation. He was, um, you know, kind of talking about what he's getting ready to go through with his leukemia and. Uh, I think it was a bone marrow transplant. If I if I got that wrong, somebody please correct me in the comments. But he was going to have to do was transplant, and they kept putting it off because of the COVID. Well, he finally got the green light. He was going to be in the hospital 30 days, and then he was going to have to stay in one of those houses for another, um, I think, three months. And it was like going to be a whole bunch of money to stay there. Like, goodness of gracious, I don't know how anybody... You can't afford to get sick, and uh, you, uh, well, you, well, you can get sick, but you can't afford the treatment. But anyway, um, so he was down there, and I'm shooting my little videos, and I call him while he's at the hospital, and his wife was down there, and uh, uh, and we'll kind of discuss the video, what he liked about it, what he didn't like about it. Now he 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 was one of my biggest fans, but he would give me, he would criticize me. You know, well, you could have done this a little different, Snappy, or you could have done that, you know, so <laughs> which I could appreciate that. My buddy, Michael James, up there in Virginia, I kind of bounce some things off of him when it comes to some of my videos because, you know, sometimes you just want to, you know, get some constructive criticism. Not no negativity, but constructive. There is a difference. So um, that's how that goes. And far as the water dog nickname came into play is, um, but while we was riding up to the dragon, I said, you don't have a nickname or a tag or a handle. You know, most truck drivers, and he is a truck driver, by the way, most truck drivers, um, have a handle. You know, I've been slappy for a lot of years and, uh, um, that just kind of runs in, into my motorcycle world and, you know, into my personal world. Don't nobody really call me by my real name, but, uh, it's always slappy, which... I like that name. Shows a lot of character. 
He said, no, nah, I'm just Clifton. So as we was riding, you know, he's telling me some of the stories of when he got married and his new, you know, his wife and they was young and he would say uh, some of the older folks would see him when they, they go to the lakes and go swimming all the time and he said some of the older folks would go, there they go them water dogs coming in. <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was the funniest thing. There go them water dogs coming in. And uh, so while we was going up, you know, riding the dragon and going over to Tapico to go get one of those high dollar uh, uh, pizzas, I said, you know what, Clifton, he said, what's that? I said, I think I done come up with a good nickname for you. He said, what's that? I said, how about water dog? He got the he giggle. He said, <laughs> he said, yeah. If you watch the videos, you'll hear him say, yeah, quite a bit. I had to drag some conversation out of him. And I said, you like it? He said, yeah. <laughs> so um, that that water dog is where that came from. And uh, I like it. It's unique. It fits his character. He said he hadn't got a chance to uh, go swimming in a whole bunch of years, but, um, you know, just, just some of the folks that kind of gave him that tag as a young man, him and his wife, I said, I'm going to call you Water Dog. And that, that's where the Water Dog came in. So I am on 411, just crossed over Highway 360, and somewhere down in here is where Water Dog is from. So go do us a zigzag. Turn right to stay on Presley Road. Anybody else use a GPS? <laughs> I'm not a big GPS user. Continue I, I, on Presley Road for three quarters of a mile. I'm one of them rare people that knows how to read the maps. Well, let me say this. I'm one of them rare truck drivers that know how to read a map. A lot of these guys is uh, these new age. These new age truckers, where they or uh, GPS babies, I call them. GPS babies. What did they do before the GPS was, was around, boy? I'll tell you, I used to get out there and get my butt lost. Anybody else starting to hear the banjos? How you doing? Is this where Clifton's supposed to have a service? Right here, two o'clock. Thank you, man. Well, this is uh, where the services is going to be. That was his neighbor. Oh, that person! I didn't even get her name. But uh, maybe I can catch him and ride in with the was a volunteer rescue squad. He was a volunteer rescue uh, worker. I think I have found a funeral home. I might be just in time. Some of the guys are going to be... Hey, 
y'all doing? Yeah, that's me. We giving you the A1 treatment there, water dog. Y'all see that up there? That is the rescue squad that Water Dog was a part of. They're bringing his body to the services uh, as a sign of respect. That is all right. All right, Water Dog. This is for you, buddy. This is for my buddy Water Dog. I was lost till Sunday morning. I woke up to face my fear. Water Dog. I'm writing you this goodbye song. I found a tear. He's a laugh when I sing you old songs. I'm gonna miss that smile. I'm gonna miss you, my friend. Even though it hurts the way it ended up, I do it all again. Look at all that for you, Water Dog. It's sweet in heaven. Cause that's right where you want to be I'm not crying cause I feel so sorry for you You're crying for me That's you, water dog I got up and dialed your number And your voice came on the line that old familiar message I heard a thousand times. Now this is respect. When they see down here in the country, when there's a funeral procession, we stop. You know, show respect. That's what these cars on the shoulder are doing. That's, that's all right. That is all right. I do it all again. Come on, water dog. So play it sweet in heaven. That's right. Well, you want to be. I'm not crying because I feel so sorry for you. I'm crying for me. See you on the other star, superstar. I'm gonna miss that smile. Huh. I'm gonna miss you, my friend. Even though it hurts the way it ended up, I do it all again. Come on. So play it sweet in heaven, cause that's right where you gonna be. I'm not crying, cause I feel so sorry for you. I'm crying for me. I'm still crying. I'm crying for me. Whoa, whoa. I'm still crying. Well, 
lot of respect being given to my buddy Water Dog, yeah. A lot of respect. I like that. I didn't really know him long, but it seemed like he's touched a lot of people's lives. I know he was a, he said he was a big fan of mine, but buddy, I'm a fan of yours. Your fans turn into your friends. And I like to consider old water dog a friend. Go a little bit further than that. I like to consider him a, a trucker brother. videos like this. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>